pro wrestling is life. Aggravating at times. It is a contact sport. It's, it's a live morality play, stunt show, rock and roll, show everything combined. It's an adventure. It's definitely an adventure. Guys say they retire and they can't stay away. I watched wrestling when I was eight years old with my grandma in her basement. That's how I got into it. From then on, I was watching uh, Bugs Bunny cartoons at five, then Hockey Night in Canada at seven, and wrestling was on in the middle of that, and that's when my grandma had control of the TV, so if you wanted to watch TV, you had to watch wrestling, and I wanted to watch hockey, so I would watch, watch wrestling first. So that's basically how it all started. It was her fault. It's all your fault, Grandma. I turned on the TV one day, and I saw a junkyard dog whack Harley race with a chair, and I said, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. After cartoons were done, there wasn't anything else for me to watch on TV, so came across wrestling and uh, liked what I saw and started to imitate it. I turned on TV and it was stunning Steve Austin before he became Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Barry Windham having a match uh, on WCW main event on like a Sunday night. I watched it and I was just a kid and I thought it was awesome man. It's, it was such a magical, you know, mythical form of entertainment. I saw Mania uh, 2 maybe at cl on closed circuit at uh, Madison Square Garden, the theater of Madison Square Garden ever since then. I've been, uh, I've been nuts about it. Like you watch it and you're just like, this is really fun, you're a little kid and you're enjoying everything like that. Never never any kind of repercussions, you're just watching two guys having like a, having a battle, you know what I mean? It's aggressive, it seems a guy thing. Put my brothers in line when they were getting a little uh, rambunctious. And now that brings back to the ring, from Hollywood, California, he weighs approximately 240 pounds, Mr. Marquis, Johnny Tassie. Well, I decided when I was eight that I wanted to be a wrestler, I just didn't know how. I wanted to get in there, rough up some people, get out some aggression. I always wanted to try it, I always thought it would be cool, I always thought it would be fun. Training came about uh, through a member of my family telling me there was a training center near them in West Patterson. We, we got trained in everything from psychology to, to character development to obviously actual moves, um, why certain moves happen at certain points in a match, uh, promos, interviews. We got physical uh, appearance, everything. We were trained on everything. You know, basically a lot of exercises and had to run backwards for a mile and had to do like 500 hack squats a night and just a bunch of crazy stuff like that. that at the time, I kind of was thinking, what does this have to do with wrestling? But it did have to do with it because it was a discipline and, the, and, and learning about the respect for the business and also see they weeded out the pretenders very quickly who didn't have the aptitude for it or the, or the mindset for it. Doing all the calisthenics, learning uh, basic moves to advanced moves, just being there on time, helping set up, break down, pay my dues in the business. It was rough, man. Um, I've heard it compared to boot camp. I'm sure boot camp is a hell of a lot harder than what I had to go through. Well, I didn't have to do the traveling that much myself because I was 15 when I started, so thankfully I didn't have to deal with that, paying for gas, this and that. My parents took care of that, which I'm very thankful for. It was a ton of fun, it was rough. It's a lot rougher than I expected when I went in, you know, to sign up. I went twice a week, paid uh, the tuition for it, graduated, and here I am before you today, a couple years down the line. You all should have been a I hate you all. I hate you all. Professional wrestling is full of colorful characters. It's no secret that pro wrestling is a show and the matches are scripted with predetermined outcomes. But it's because of this that those who don't understand wrestling simply write it off as being fake. How do the wrestlers themselves respond to this? Personally, I think that's probably the most ignorant uh, misconception uh, of the business that I've heard. Um, and obviously everyone thinks that. Fake is such a cop-out term. It's a cop-out term. I don't like when people say the word fake because the things that you do, obviously you're not trying to kill each other. It's not at all fake. I mean, I've been 
bloodied up with chairs. I've been, I've been hit with kendo sticks. I have no problem showing anyone any of my medical bills from chiropractor visits to hospital visits that I've encountered over the years. Well, a doctor once told me taking a bump is like getting hit by a car at 12 miles an hour. So do that 10 times. To go stand in the street and get hit by a car 12 miles an hour 10, 12, 15 times in, in, in a 20 minute span and see how you feel afterwards. It takes a toll on your body. You're out there. You're giving everything you can. I get out of bed in the morning and I, you know, I feel like I'm 60. There's no reason to say like, well, those guys, they're great, but they knew who was going to win. It doesn't matter. Just a ridiculous statement, just saying it's fake. Just because something's predetermined doesn't mean that it's not great. I challenge any, any, anyone that's, that says it's fake, I challenge any of them to get in the ring with me, with, with you know, anybody, and just see how fake it feels after they're done. <laughs> Despite being some of the most recognizable figures in sports, wrestlers still face a stereotype that they are nothing more than big burly guys without any real education. I mean, the people that think that are probably the guys that are the people that are really, really stupid. I mean, there's this real stereotype that wrestlers are Neanderthals and uh, you know, Cro-Magnons and can't string two sentences together. It's for people that want to just give an excuse why wrestling is, you know, looked down upon. It's sad that it's misconstrued that that's what the entire population of professional wrestling is. I mean, there's a lot of people there that are very smart, very intelligent, and very creative. Being a wrestler is being an artist, and before people start laughing, oh, artist, <laughs> what is the definition of an artist? It's somebody who creates something out of nothing. And when you create a wrestling match, you're taking an idea, a concept, and just forming it and, and, and making it happen from there. 95 to 99% of wrestlers, independent or otherwise, are businessmen in some way. There's so many wrestlers that have become great businessmen by running great companies. I'm pr I promote myself. I mean, I promote my website. I promote, you know, myself, my my tapes, my matches, whatever. Um, it's a business. A majority of us are in school. We're bettering ourselves, getting the education. Wrestlers are great actors and politicians and famous authors like myself. So wrestling is show business boot camp. You learn a little bit about everything. And I'll debate anybody on, on trivia. So if I'm stupid, then I'm the trivia genius. I'm a trivia autism master. I mean, you can't really be too dumb to, to, to be in this business, despite what you know several people think. I think it's a very dumb misconception. Um, but that's OK. I like when people have low expectations, because then I always wow and amaze them with my master intellect. A lot of people have several misconceptions about every every aspect of this business. Even though it is a business, it's the best you can be in. You meet a lot of people, some good, some bad, but they all definitely uh, leave a lasting impression on you. Professional wrestling is a lot like life. You have an antagonist, you have a protagonist. You know, you have a catalyst, a storyline. You have a beginning, and middle, of an end. You know what I mean? And you have a you know you have a clash. You know, wrestling's a great book. I mean, people aren't going to understand the business unless they're in the business. The encounters, adventures, just memories nonstop. And I just want to say thank you to all of them for bringing me to where I am. It's, it's the best business in the world.